Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be another haul video. I told you in the last one that I have a lot of stuff to show and it's not all going to fit in one video. So I'm breaking it up into different parts. So this is going to be what I got from Target and um, Nordstrom Rack. Looks like I have a couple things from Marshalls and um, Sephora. Sephora. So let's start with what I got at Target. This is probably the least exciting, but anyway, I got it. I wanted to talk about it, mainly about these hair pins right here. These are from Goody, and it's called the Ten Bobby Slides. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to see how they are perforated right here. And if you have hair kind of like mine that's kind of thick and curly and kind of hard to hold up, these pins are perfect when you want to do an updo because they have that perforated um, edging to them that really holds in place. The only thing about them though because I try, I probably just try to get too much hair in them. They have the tendency to stretch out, and so I have to keep repurchasing them. And for whatever reason, Target is the only place that I can find them. And they're like, they're not cheap. Three dollars a pack, I think. Anyway, I did get um, three packages of those because all the ones that I have are stretched out and they're getting to where they don't hold. And the last time I've been to Target was when I went to Target was in January. So I, had, I don't get to go to Target all the time because we don't have one here at home. It's in Tulsa, which is like 45 minutes away, and I just don't get a chance to go to Target. So I thought, while I'm there, I'm going to get three packs, and hopefully those will last me until I get to go to Target again. I also picked up these little clips, um, the alligator clips from Conair, that's the styling clips. And what I like to do with these, is just these little hair clips, is I don't blow dry my hair. I let my hair dry naturally all the time, but I like to have some volume. I have it pinned up here. So what I do with this is after I've gotten my curls the way that I want them with my product and everything, I'll take these and I'll clip them in different spots in my hair to hold it out and in the back while it's drying and I'll put I'll leave them in you know until I get to work so I'll have them on in the car and stuff I'll have all these crazy clips going everywhere anyway um, and with that taking them on and off in the car and then putting them on here in the house and taking them off in the car I have a tendency to lose them so I just picked up another pack of those the originals the original ones that I had purchased I had purchased off of we dad which is the um, styling gel company that I like to use but those will work just as well they'll do the same thing and then I got a big pack of the um, up and up brand of the basic cotton rounds and you know what now that I think of it this may not be the ones that I liked anyway I got a big pack of them there's three rolls in here anyway I got those that's what I got from Target. No, wait, 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 wait. One more thing. One more thing from Target. And that was the L'Oreal um, Foundation. This is the Infallible Pro Glow. I had purchased the one that is the, the matte. And just because everybody was talking about it, I knew it wasn't going to work for me. I have dry skin. I have aging skin. Matte is not my friend as far as face color goes but anyway so I got this the only thing that I don't like about this I haven't used it was the color range the lightest was 201 classic ivory and I just feel like this might just be a tad bit too dark but I'm not for sure I haven't opened it yet to even try it but I thought what I might do it's because the the other one that I have, the matte, is just a little bit too light. This one might be a little bit too dark, so I thought I could maybe mix the two and get the best out of both worlds. There, I finally got that little thing off there. Let's see. 
And there's the color there, which that looks pretty light though, so maybe it just looks dark in the package here. Anyway, going to be giving that a try. And I'll kind of, maybe if you want me to do a review on this, I know there's a lot of people doing reviews on this. But most of those people, as we all know, are the little, the little young girls and they have perfect faces regardless of what they say. So if you want, would like to hear a mature woman's point of view on this product, I could do that. Just let me know. Anyway, okay, so now we'll move on to Marshalls. We went to Marshalls, my daughter and I, and I picked up some brush cleanser. This is the Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner. It's a lavender scent. It's called Makeup Out, I guess is the brand, and this was $6.99 compared to $12. So, I don't know. I've not used it, but I'm going to give it a go. And then I got a hair mask. This is the Alterna caviar repair microbead fill and fix treatment mask for damaged for damage free hair and this was normally $42 and it was at Marshall's for $9.99 so I got it and it does have some like little bead type things in there I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's white but it has some kind of texturing in there so I don't know what the I don't know. Anyway, we'll try it and we'll see. So I did get that, and that was what I purchased at Marshall's. And then we went over to um, to Nordstrom Rack. We actually do have a Nordstrom Rack in Tulsa. We just don't have an actual Nordstrom Nordstrom store in Oklahoma at all. I don't I don't understand that. But anyway, I got a few things. I'll talk about this product here first. This is from Tory Burch, and this is an eyeshadow palette. This normally retails for um, $60, and at the um, Nordstrom Rack, it was $27.97. So I got it, and they had um, four different ones, but I just got the one, and let me open it up. It's really thick cardboard, too. It has a little um, look card in it. And of course, you know, it has a big mirror. Then it has the six eyeshadows there and a, a brush here, which I won't do anything with. Anyway, I got it and brought it home, and I used it the next day and loved it. I thought, oh, that is so good. I like that. And I thought, man, I wish I would have got, you know, the rest of them. Well, then we went on a little trip and we went to, um, to Branson and they have the CCO and they had them at the CCO and I thought well I'll get one there the one you know a couple more well they were like 40 something dollars there so I thought oh, I'll just wait until I go back so I went back and I get I got two more um, the third one that they had they only had one left and when I opened it it was all crumbled up so I didn't get it so I got this one in the blue packaging. I mean, first of all, the packaging is just so cute. It looks like a little um, journal is what it reminds me of. And um, it's just called the eyeshadow palette. And I don't think it has like a specific name on it. But anyway, this is the one that is in the blue binding. The other one was in the pink binding. And it's the same concept. It comes with the little brush, the mirror. But then the eyeshadows are a little bit different. So there's the shadows for that one. And these just go on very smooth, very soft. Just creates a very pretty look. And it's very flattering for mature skin, I think. And I was really surprised that they were as good as what they um, have turned out to be. This one is called Catch. Eye Palette Catch is what this one's called. And the other one, the pink one, was called, oh, I don't have the card for that one, so I don't know. I don't know what it's called. And then the last one that I got is the one with the lavender binding in it. And it is called, um, uh, I don't know, Pause du Tot? Pause du Tot? I don't know. And you're not going to be able to see that because it's on a white card. I don't know. This one's really pretty too. Oh, it's really pretty. And I haven't used the other two. I just used the pink one as all I've used, but there's those colors. I mean, it's just so pretty. 
for $28. I mean, I had to give it a shot. And I'm glad I did. And they are beautiful. So, those were the Tory Burch items that I got. And then, those are the Snowball eyeshadows I got. No. I've been looking at and thinking about getting this forever and ever and ever. It's the Smashbox double exposure um, it has 14 eyeshadows um, but you can create 28 different eyeshadow looks I guess by adding water with it but um, this was normally $52 and it was $24.97 the only thing is the little bonus um, mascara was missing and that was the case in all four palettes that they had there the little mascara bonus little thing was gone out of it but that's okay it does come with a look book and I'm sure everyone has seen this a million jillion times and got you know the colors there it does come with a double ended smashbox brush which I find that the smash smashbox brushes are actually really good they're pretty decent so and then there are the colors just in case by chance you've not ever seen this before but I did get that. That was a really good deal. I passed it up the first time when I got the Tory Burch. I thought, no, I'm not going to get it. And then I seen it at the CCO and it was more at the CCO. I thought, well, when I go back to the Nordstrom Rack, if they still have it, I'm going to get it. And they did. So it's meant to be. What I think. And then I got this little guy from Laura Mercier. <sighs> You can find some really good deals at the Nordstrom Rack on, on this brand. And it's really sad that they don't do uh, beauty products on Nordstrom Rack on their website, but they don't. They just have the clothing and stuff. I don't know why that is, but anyway, probably some legality mojo or something. Anyway, this is what the palette looks like. Perfect, perfect, perfect for travel because it has everything in it that you could possibly need to travel with. You know, it has your mirror, which it has a little plastic film on there. There are all the eyeshadows. There's some mattes, some satins, some cool tones, some warm tones, everything that you're going to need. And then you open it up and it has a bronzer, some blush, some... Oh, I'm trying to do this without blinding you. If it's not working. Oh no. Okay. It's not going to work. Some eyeliners here. It also has some um, pencil eyeliner, a pencil eyeliner, and some brushes, which I won't use the brushes, but as far as color goes, I mean, it's got everything that you could possibly need. Um, it's got um, three different blushes. Maybe the only thing that it wouldn't have would be a highlight, but to be honest with you, this um, eyeshadow right there, you could use that as a highlight without any problem. So, definitely a Oh, excuse me, a travel friendly palette. So if you see that, if you're out and about at your CCOs, or not CCOs, your um, Nordstrom racks, pick that up. Okay, then I also got um, another one of the um, Kerastase Chroma Riche shampoos, and this is for highlighted or very sensitized color treated hair. It's a luminous softening shampoo. I've used one of these before and I feel like that this really helped my hair get back um, some of its health that I lost during a process of using some products that um, did not work well for me. But anyway, and then I found this. And I was so excited to find this because I was told that this had been discontinued and was no longer being carried or sold. And it's the Kerastase Elixir Ultima, Ultimi um, Oleo Complex Oil. And this is my favorite oil. I've already used one of these. I fell in love with it. And I've been missing it. I've been using that one that I don't like. And I just decided I'm going to get going to get that. I've seen it. I'm going to get it. Okay, now let's move to Sephora. And I have one item that I actually went in the store and purchased and an online order. 
So the item that I got at the store was a lipstick from Smashbox and it's the Boz, Boz, B-A-W-S-E. It's a limited edition color and it's the 8 hour power pout. Always on liquid lipstick and the color is Boz, or Boss, however you want to say it. And of course it is a red. Who knew? <laughs> Yeah, you should have known, but there's the color. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. But yes, I got that. I feel like I went out of focus for some reason. Something threw my focus off. I've been having horrible luck with filming here lately. Maybe if I kind of lean in a little bit like this, you can, we can get back on track. I don't know why it did that. But anyway, then I placed an order online with Sephora, and... I got this. This is a Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette and it's the 9 Artist Shadow palette. I have another one and this is the one that came out this past Christmas and then I seen on um, Trend Mood I think is what it is that they're going to be coming out with another one this holiday season so I thought well I'm going to get this. Um, it was on clearance. It's been on clearance for a while and I've kind of thought about it for a while. And I just decided that since she's going to come out, or they're going to come out with a new one, I want this one to go with the new one. So, I did get that. And I'm sure everyone has seen this. It's been around for a while. The only color I know I probably won't use is this pink color here. But, I can maybe, maybe I can make this work for a um, blush. Yeah, I think I could do that for a blush. That would be really pretty as a blush. It actually um, sheared out really pretty too. So I don't, pinks on my eyes just don't do very well, especially this kind of pink, but I think I could definitely use that as a blush. And then this purple here, I don't know. This would be a pretty liner eyeliner. See, and it goes on pretty sheer too. I mean, it's not as intense as it was showing in that pan there. So it's actually kind of pretty. That would actually make a pretty blush for fall too, you know it? Especially if you really, 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 really sheared it out. <laughs> really sheared it out. I'm trying to get them together. Anyway, got that. And then um, the last thing that I ordered was also on the clearance page and this is from the Nude um, Nude line. I guess they're discontinuing it. I don't know. But anyway, this is the Detox Brightening Fizzy Powder Wash has vitamin C, omegas 3, 6, and 9, and rose hip seed. And I've used a sample of this before and I did like it. I like the, the powders, the powders that you can get for cleansing your skin. You put a little bit of water with them and it makes a froth and you just clean your skin. I mean, they're so nice. And this was a really good price too. I don't remember how much it was. It's been a while. So anyway, that's it. That's all I'm going to show on this one. Um, we'll save. I have stuff from the CCO. Some Tom Ford stuff from the CCO. Can you believe they are selling Tom Ford at the CCOs now? And then a Mac. So I'll just save that for another way, another haul, another day. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sorry if I got blurry and in and out. See if I get back like this, I get blurry. But if I lean in, I'm good. But I was, I was in focus when I started. I promise. It's driving me nuts. Anyway, thank you so much. And I will talk to you in the next haul video or next video. Whatever comes first. I don't know. Who knows? Bye.